So good afternoon. We're at the bottom of Titlis and we are about to meet the unsung heroes of the Red Bull X Alps. Now the athletes, they're kind of around up in the mountains uh, behind me over here and Titlis is beyond here. But we're going to meet the supporters because they're the ones who really make this happen. Hey guys. <laughs> hey. So over here we've got um, Killian and we've got uh, Giovanni, who are supporters for um, Marcus, Marcus Anders. Anders, who's the rookie uh, German German too. Yeah. So guys, how, how's it going? It's going really well. Uh, we catched up a lot in the in the last days. In the first days, we made some mistakes and we fell a little bit behind. But now it's that. it's really good. It's uh, we are working on that and yeah. we are catching up. So, I mean, we, we've had a lot of um, questions, basically, from people yeah. wanting to know how it works for, for you guys. You know, what do the supporters do? Where do the athletes sleep? Maybe you could just talk us through your day. I mean, what, what, what time do you get up in the morning? Yeah, we get up at uh, 4.30. Then, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. <laughs> we, we are, you, we are you, you know, you, sleep. You don't look tired at all. Uh, <laughs> I bet I am. <laughs> Uh, so you get up at 4.30 and then yeah. what, what's your first job? What's the first thing that you um, do? We split it. We have four supporters, Giovanni, Nina and Thomas. Nina and Thomas are um, good for physio and organizing stuff. And we, we are for planning and hiking, organizing right? things and <laughs> hiking. Hiking a lot with Marcus, yeah. Who, who does the cooking? No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Nina and Thomas. Yeah, they, do, they do the cooking. They but they I think that like a little part of supporters, most of the hardest part is, yeah. is just keep on thinking of planning and route planning and checking all the stuff and yeah. being always a little bit ahead of the pilot uh, and replanning all the stuff depending on the flight and the situation. It's <laughs> it's so hard for the yeah. for the head. And and, and um, who's who's actually making the decisions? Uh, you know, for, for Marcus, his, his route is it is it you guys or is he? Uh, making the, the decision on where to go. We prepare tracks. Um, we use some different tools like Exit Planner and stuff, and we, we get it out of the out of the track, and we can send it to his uh, mobile phone. Even while he's flying. And, yeah, even while he's flying, and then he can decide and uh, where to go. He he does have the better look and and air. We can just give him device uh, advice. Um, about how the others did and what we think will work and what will not work. Yeah. But he decides the yeah. actual. Can you give me an example of, of your like your, your day? You know, because you, 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 you get up at four thirty. You know, you've got to see him off because he starts hiking at, at five. You're yeah, hiking yeah. up the mountain sometimes with him. Yeah, we and pretty then, much always hike with, up with him. Yeah, we, he's never alone actually. Yeah, yeah. so it's almost physically hiking. demanding. <laughs> And sometimes we have to hike down too. Because, <laughs> well, uh, well, <laughs> because he yeah, takes he, off and we he, just can't yeah. take off. <laughs> and what time are you going to bed? I mean, what, how much sleep do you guys get a night? Um, we go we, to bed at midnight because yeah. after he go to bed at like, about 11 p.m. We need to set all this stuff up, make the planning for the next day, think about that, go to bed, and then next morning yeah. for 30 hours. So we <laughs> have s each, each day we, we sleep about around four hours. Four hours. <laughs> oh my God. So look, I can see you've got some of the stuff out here. What, what, what have we got going on? Just some of yeah, the boxes so of clothes. At the moment, uh, we are drying the clothes he wore for hiking, uh, so we don't run out of clothes. Did you did you wash them first? Uh, no, <laughs> at the moment we are just drying, so they yeah, won't so, get, so so they, no washing service. Washing. It's just just drying. Yesterday we were washing. Actually. Yeah, you did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then and then show me through your your, your, your van. I want, I want to have a have a look. Yeah. So. Um, so we got, this is the organization. Exactly. We got a box for each crew member. So we got a, a foam roller here. Yeah. yeah. Did you say what one of your, your one of the girls was? Um, she's a physio. Yeah, Nina is a physio and Thomas is also a physio. So we got two physios, which is nice for us as oh. well. <laughs> <laughs> That's really important. That's about physio luxury. In the team. <laughs> like. And yeah, they, they take care of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's really it's really nice. Let's go, let, let's go around as well. Yeah. well. Let's have a have a looky. Yeah, can I, can I jump in? Can yeah, I, yeah, can I in? So it's, it's actually not cleaned that well. We, we still have a oh dear boys, have look. <laughs> I think, you know, we don't, we ho let's hope your mum's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. So, so yeah, for, uh, I think the most important part is uh, charging the all, all the devices. And yeah. we already had some pr trouble with it because our battery died, died once during the night and we couldn't uh, charge any device. 
Yeah. So um, I can see you well like so you got your little power traveller uh, in there plugged in, yeah. charging yeah. stuff. Look, you got all the and then you've got a, a car battery as well, is that? Yes. Yeah, exactly. That's an inverter. It loads automatically by driving. Yeah. So and, that's and a good here, point. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, you've actually got a... Yeah, these are two USB and these are like a normal plug-in. So I'm guessing, you know, there's always something that, that, that needs charging, isn't there? There's just, it, it yeah. must be a constant battle. Yeah. yeah, we really rely on like phone for making all the strategic yeah, and yeah. checking the route and a lot of... Yeah, but you're running out. Yeah, that's why we brought like ten power banks. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. And uh, uh, and, uh, and and what else? T tell us also about some of your days. You must have had some some epics. Um, let me jump out again. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, you must have had some some kind of challenging times up at yourself. Yeah. You, you know. Yeah. I had like <laughs> I had one challenging time at Lemos. Marcus was pushing really hard. <laughs> And I hiked with him and I couldn't really keep up <laughs> and I pushed too far and that was like challenging. I, I started bleeding out of my nose and stuff. <laughs> that was really hard and he was yeah. He was I just today. I just hiked with Marcus like 2000 meters vertical from high pass over here with crampons and ice axes and ropes and stuff. And once he took off the wind just towards backwards and I couldn't take off from that side. So it was like standing on my own on top of a mountain. <laughs> like, oh. I really need to get out of that. And then I didn't manage. Yeah, I just to. saw actually you got a rope down. Is that a, is that a rope you got? Yeah, that's for, for yeah. high alpine. Got us on this entry land. So it's quite, yeah. Yeah, it's quite heavy. Yeah, yeah. and we need to. You, you know, you've got to carry that and. Yeah, yeah we carry a lot. So who looks after you guys? Because I mean, you know. You, you know, you got to look after yourself. You, only four hours night, yeah. you sleep a night. That's why we got uh, four team members. So, so we can we can switch while hi with hiking and and all the stuff, and the other two can switch with cooking, physio, okay. and yeah. take and care of that. Anyway, like a really important thing is organization. Like if you have okay. some spare time, you need just to find the time to rest. Otherwise, you just get over it. And yeah. <laughs> so what's, so what's your number one kind of um, alert lesson, if you like? Lesson? What you, yeah, what, what do you think you've learned on this? Uh, uh, it, it really gets a mess if there's not one person who coordinates everything. Like if if there's not one leader, it, it gets a mess. And so is that you? You're, you're, the, you're the boss? Um, yeah, He's like, the boss. Like, <laughs> yeah. He says, Giovanni, uh, I'm, I'm, go up. <laughs> I'm how old after are you? Marcus. <laughs> how old? Yeah. I'm 28. You're 28? Yeah. How, yeah. how old are you, Giovanni? I'm, I'm just turned 27. 27, good. <laughs> and Mar Marcus is young as well, isn't he? I mean, he's he's only been paragliding four years. Yeah, so that's true. He uh, he started paragliding, I think, like four, yeah, four, four or five, four years, five ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah. But he really got into it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I met him, uh, I think it was three years ago at the competition, and he was doing great already, <laughs> and he flew for two years. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, it was, uh, he's skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so a lot of athletes um, begin as supporters. You know, Nelson de Freeman a yeah. few years ago was a supporter for Antoine Girard. Yeah. You guys, obviously, you're paragliders as well. Yeah, yeah. we are into this do, kind of competition as like, well. Uh, do you, is this a kind of, do you see this as training for um, doing the race uh, yourself one day? We'll think about, but <laughs> <laughs> in this moment, it's really hard to think about doing that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, my, like my actual plan was to support Marcus and see how it lo how it looks like, and uh, yeah, just to go through it. And after that, I will decide if I yeah. will try to compete. We're too tired now to decide yeah. to make <laughs> yeah, decision yeah. about yeah. that. Because I, I mean, I, I remember Nelson um, once telling me that that um, after three or four days as an athlete your brain goes you you yes. you can't even make a decision so you need your supporters yes. to, to 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 make the decision yeah. and it's really yeah. hard for the supporter to make a decision from somebody else yeah. because he pays your mistakes <laughs> yeah exactly but also you can flip it you can yes. say that you take the the credit when of you course. make a good decision yes but when you it's this competition you always need to take a decision every time yeah. you cannot just stay in the middle yeah and sometimes it goes well and you're really up and after a while you make yeah. a mistake and you're really down it, it, so do you, it's really up and it's, down is it kind of like, almost like a marriage you know, you <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it feels like a it family like, it feels like a family <laughs> yeah like maybe yesterday we were like really pissed off at each other yeah, and then yeah, yes, do, do you have moments where you're just shouting at each other, you stupid mm, idiot? Or not yet. Yesterday was uh, really hard kind day. of that point because yeah. we we made some mistakes. Some of us made other mistakes, and 
And when yeah, you're we really pissed off and when you're really tired, bit. all these things like it keep yeah. getting bigger it's and bigger. Just yeah. one thing and it collapses. Yeah. And what's, what's the, has it been a positive experience? I know it's you're, you're in the middle of it now, so we're at day six. <laughs> That's so it's really like, nice, actually. But you, are That's you really enjoying nice. it? Yeah, yeah. Even with four yeah. hours sleep, you're still able to, to, to enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the most that's important thing, lesson. Like, if yeah. you're not enjoying it, you cannot do that. Yeah. Like, oh, you, wow. need, you must enjoy it. Yeah. Well, great. Well, what a, what a final uh, message to end on. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, thanks, guys. And um, keep rooting for Marcus. Yeah, we will. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll see you all in Monaco. Yeah, bye. Hopefully. Ciao, ciao. Bye, ciao. Bye. Bye.